And this is Fox News Alert. Welcome back to Hannity. And joining us once again, this time in person, on camera, the man of the hour who defeated Dave Cantor, uh, Eric Cantor tonight. Dave Bratt is back with us. Dave, good to see you now. Hey, good to be with you, Sean. Thanks. All right. I, I want to go back and I want to this, as you know, is is a political earthquake. What has happened here tonight and is being viewed as such. W what message should this send? Not only the GOP, but Democrats as well. Democrats think, oh, this shows that the, the Tea Party controls the Republican Party. Is it that or is that maybe the country is looking for jobs and websites that can be built by the government correctly, not for seven hundred million dollars and for a VA that actually supports our vets? W which side do you think this is? Yeah, no, th that's right. The American people are very interested in real ideas and be moving beyond the sound bites. And so right now our political dialogue in the nation is just concerned with this right and left versus uh, debate. And uh, my entire campaign was built along a stump speech that took 20 minutes or so full of serious ideas. And the people resonated with that and they love that. And so uh, I had volunteers working uh, endless hours for me. And uh, they, they paid attention, and the American people want to pay attention to serious ideas again. Our founding was uh, built by people who were political philosophers, and we need to get back to that, away from this kind of cheap uh, political rhetoric of right and left. Uh, I, I ran on free markets. I don't know that those are right or left. I ran on uh, rule of law, uh, property rights. I ran on immigration. I don't think those are right and left issues. I think those are just free market constitutional issues. All right. You now have replaced the House. You will replace the House Majority Leader. Walk us through, if you could guide the Republican Party, and I think you're going to have a pretty, pretty big microphone and a loud voice when you, when you finally get to Washington. What, assuming that you win the race, and I, I would think you have a very good chance, let me ask that, what, is, what would you say, what direction do you want this party, your party, to go in that would help solve the country's problems? Right, right. I don't think a lot of folks in D.C. understand what free markets are. So that's the most important piece. Uh, Fannie and Freddie made two-thirds of all subprime uh, mortgages. Uh, that is not a free market institution, right? That entity, along with the Fed print too much money back in 03 and 04, cause the housing collapse. So uh, we need to take free markets seriously. That means we have to put an end to all these tax credits and tax deductions and loopholes. Uh, Dave Camp had a good bill in which simplified the tax code and had a Reagan-esque 10 and 25 percent rate. Uh, that made sense and it was going to be pro-growth, right? It was going to produce 1 percent more economic growth. And so uh, that will help us restore jobs and uh, closing the border is very important. I ran hard on that issue. Uh, first, you got to get your own house in order before you can help others. And uh, we're out of control right now. On fiscal discipline, our debt's over 17 trillion. The unfunded liabilities are 127 trillion. And uh, no leader on either side is mentioning the biggest economic problems we have in the country right now. And uh, I base my campaign on, on those numbers and, uh, and, uh, and a uh, pledge to, to fix do? them. All right, because you're right, over 100 trillion in unfunded liabilities, 17 trillion dollars in debt. You know, Barack Obama, then candidate, said it was irresponsible and unpatriotic, unpatriotic to have nine trillion in debt. How would you deal with that issue? What would your alternative to Obamacare be? Right. Well, on health care, I mean, it's obvious we got to first separate the insurance issue from the health care issue. The health care uh, costs are the most fundamental problem. And the reason there's a health care cost problem is just simple economics. It's because the consumer is not seeing the full price of health care, right? If you take your kid in for the sniffles, you pay 20 bucks, but the full cost is 200 bucks. And so we need to get back to the price system uh, where you see the full cost of health care, and then people will make uh, smarter decisions. That'll reduce health care costs, and uh, it's a huge part of our economy. Instead, we're centralizing top-down uh, everything in the country right now and the, the history of nations uh, is the history of central governments run amok, right? And the, the United States exceptionalism has been to stay away from that tendency that it's easy to fall prey to trying to solve everything at the federal level. But uh, most every federal program is insolvent right now and everybody knows it. When I knocked doors, uh, I said, are we on the right track? And everybody said, absolutely not. And so we need to change course and uh, fix some big problems. All right, I agree with you. I think in many ways we have huge problems, aren't being addressed, 
I'd like to see him addressed. And congratulations once again, Dave Brett, on uh, what is a huge victory tonight. Appreciate your time. All right. Thank you, Sean. Great to be with you. All right. Coming up.